Hey there everyone, I'm Palkifenoid, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny! Last time we finished off the Tower of Turaga. Twice. And we got Stan's final sacred skill. And with that we finished off all the optional side stuff. There's only one last thing to do. Today. We are going to Diecroft. To end this once and for all. And yes, I know I say that every time, but it's true! We're gonna end this now. So, yes, I want to go to Diecroft. Yes, please. Okay, let's go. That gotta hurt a lot. That impact would have hurt. I don't care who you are, that would hurt. <laughs> Welcome back to Diecroft, people. And uh, if you are expecting the same pretty boring dungeon that we went through last time, don't worry, this place is a lot more fun this time around. It's still an easy dungeon, but at least it got some challenge to it, and it's actually quite long. Still kind of easy though. And as you see, they're already it's already different. We have Sperms with bunny air statues now. Hey, that's what they look like to me, so I just have to say what I think that they look like. <laughs> anyway, save your game if you want, and have a battle. I forgot there's battle this early too. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, new enemies. Ah, Hellbusters! <laughs> oh god, thank god they don't look like they do in Fantasia. That would really, really suck. Dragon Tooth, Hellmaster, who? An aerial knight. The dragon tooth is. It's not that. The dragon tooth is, of course, the upgraded skeleton. They have a lot of attack. Seriously? Thank you for that, you little, you little piece of crap. The aerial knight is the bastard that's been pestering us with spells. They have a lot of different spells, actually, but Ray and Holy Lance are their favorites. They also have Fireball at, I believe. Eruption. But really, they don't have much HP, so they don't really stand much of a chance against you. Especially if you went to the tower. Seriously, level 50 freaking 9. I am so overleveled, it's not even funny. <laughs> oh, and by the way, yes, the enemies will also... Or you can also use stasis against them to make them even more pathetic. I already broken the game. <laughs> anyway, we got a just here with a star shield. Which is a shield that only Stan can equip. I think also Mary can equip it, but she's not with me right now, so... Uh, I will say this, if you actually went to Dycroft to level grind a little bit before the tower, you could do that, you can go back if you want to. But I felt like I didn't need to, so a lot of the equipment there... Oh god, Basilisk! I hate Basilisks! A lot of the equipment... I didn't want to do that, I for, I forgotten to... Well, that worked, so <laughs> I'm not complaining. And I forgotten to switch out Phoenix for Light Spear again, but that actually worked kind of well. But uh, yeah, uh, most of the equipment that we get here, like at least Stan can equip... It's not really gonna help me much, just because I already gone to the tower. But uh, it's still good stuff, and some of the some of the stuff Gar can equip too, so it's definitely worth picking up. And here we get a chamisen, chamisen. It's it's a guitar, and it's Johnny's quote unquote ultimate weapon. Nice boost though, 470 attack. No, no. <sighs> I don't like that this is Johnny's ultimate weapon. There's nothing epi epic about this thing. Give him the freaking electric guitar. And while we're talking about Johnny here, I have a feeling that Johnny was not supposed to be a party member at all. That they just added him in in the last minute. Because there's just no very good armor for him, in, or equipment in general, in the entire game. I mean, okay, the Holy Cloak is decent, but his ultimate hand armor is a freaking bracelet. 
It's not only his ultimate, it's, it's his only hand armor. What happened? I gave him the black onyx just because I wanted him to at least be a little bit special, but... Really? A bracelet? That's just weird. Uh, give him a shield ring for crying out loud. <laughs> Just make me sad to see, to be honest. It's disappointing. Because I really, really like Johnny, but oh well. Anyway, so this is a dead end, it seems like. Except it's not. If you go up to this mirror, which is supposed to be, you will be swallowed by it. Hmm. Going through mirrors in a dungeon where you know that the main bad guy is waiting. That sounds kind of familiar. I have a feeling that we've seen that before. Can't really put my finger on it though. Anyway, this is the way forward, so we want to get go through this mirror instead and go down here and have a battle. Thank you, game. <laughs> Stasis and then run away. Talk about douchebaggery. <laughs> that was fun. Anyway, down here we have two treasure chests, one red and one blue. So let's open the red one, and we get a fragment, which is a very important item that you need to get to be able to continue on with the dungeon. Don't really know why they put that in a red treasure chest though. And in the blue one we get a Terra, which you can also get from the seed planting minigame. Now, originally I thought the Terra was a disc, to give you maybe all the earth elemental spells. It is actually a piece of armor, with pretty good defense, 164. It's an upgrade for Gar, but not for Stan. So, Gar now got the battle suit, 145 defense and 10 attack. And the Terra, he will get a, a bit more defense, but he will lose some attack. I think I actually want to keep the battle suit on Gar. Just because Void Sword is an amazing move, and though he don't, he doesn't really use it that often. I th still think the Battle Suit is the better armor of the two. If you want a more tanky Gar, go right ahead, equip the Terra. But I'm actually gonna keep the Battle Suit on him. And also, the fragment that I just got, uh, you can actually skip that one if you want to. But you need to come back and la get it later on. In Diecroft, there is a very well-known glitch. Cleverly called the Diecroft glitch. And what it does is that it will actually make some treasure chests disappear. Personally, I never actually got hit by that glitch. But I know that a lot of people actually got problems with it. There are two treasure chests that I know of that can get hit by the uh, the Diecroft glitch. And I heard some people talk about it, and there's also been comments about it in my videos, that if you skip on at least two fragments, or just skip on some fragments and you come back and get them later on, you will have a better chance to avoid the Diecroft glitch. But, as I said, i never been hit by it, but, <laughs> of course, I'm recording now, so I will get hit by it. We all know that, right? Right? <laughs> it's a given. But, uh, if I get hit by it, oh well. The, the two treasures aren't really that great anyway. I mean, still gonna suck a little bit to not get the treasure chests, but... Then again, if I don't, well, I don't. I am not gonna cry if I don't get the treasure chests, but I guess we just have to see what happens. <laughs> anyway, blue treasure chest here with a SP300 for 10, which would be a pretty good disc if we haven't already gone to the tower. And yes, I had a little jump cut there because I just sneezed. Twice. I don't really know why, but through my whole life I always had to sneeze twice. It's a little bit annoying. Anyway, we also have a door here that we want to go through, and there is another red treasure chest here. With another fragment in it. Maybe we should check it out. Let's see. A fragment of some side of cr some kind of crest. It's outside if it's gilded. Okay, interesting. 
Don't really know what that means yet, but I guess we'll know soon enough. And in this search chest we get a Star Glove. Which is a quite decent upgrade for Gar, so I'm going to give it to him. There we go. Kind of wish he would actually be able to equip the Star Shield though, but oh well. Oh great, new enemies. The Nightingales. Actually, I'm going to use Stasis on these because they are annoying. These are probably the most painful mages in the game. Well, at least enemy mages. They can cast some very nasty spells on you, but they barely have any HP, so it doesn't really matter, to be honest. <laughs> and for the first time, we actually got to see what Philly actually does when she uses stasis. She does a little dance, that's cute. <laughs> and, oh yeah, we... I thought any of the other just, just, but yeah, I already opened it. And I also forgot to buy some uh, holy bottles, so I had to use the cloak move that Philia got, but <laughs> I'm really not complaining since that's pretty much the the use of cloak, so yeah, why not just use it? <laughs> anyway, battle, of course. I think there's one new enemy that we haven't seen yet. And I think it's these guys. Wizards, they can also cast spells. And they are the upgraded versions of the... Well, we've seen these guys before, so... The hell? Okay... Thank you, Rudy Filiangar. I don't know what happened to me there, but... Okay. That was weird. <laughs> That would have that is what happens if assassin goes a little bit wrong apparently. Anyway, we have three mirrors that we can go through here. The one on the far right is the one that you want to go through if you want to continue on. So let's ignore that for now and go through the other ones. To get treasure, we get our third fragment. This is probably the easiest one if you want that. This is probably the easiest one to skip if you want to do that. And you also see that there is a treasure chest on the other side of that walkway and well the walkway looks like a place that we can actually well walk. So maybe we should find a way to get the treasure chest and to the walkway. It's really not that hard to get how we are supposed to do that but oh well here <laughs> we got the treasure chest and we get a star cap. Which is a very good upgrade, actually, for, well, the light armor users. A cute hat with the star with star-shaped decorations. Looks like something out of Kirby, to be honest. And I'm actually going to give it to Johnny just because I can. Yeah, I don't like that Johnny doesn't get any good equipment, really. I mean, he can't even equip the cutie mitten, for crying out loud. Do I even have a cutie mitten on Chelsea? No, she got a bracelet too, actually. <laughs> but at least Chelsea, Rudy, and Philia can get the ribbons, the magical ribbons from the Tower of Draga. Johnny cannot equip those. So, yeah, once again, slapping his faith for Johnny. Anyway, here we got that walkway that we was under like two minutes ago. And when we go up these stairs, we are actually officially in the second part of Diecraft. Or at least what it's called, the second part. Well, people like to call it part 1, 2, 3, and 4. The fourth part is really, really short, but it makes sense that it's easy enough to say. This door is locked, so we can't really do anything. So let's go down here instead. And, hmm, suspicious looking glyph on the floor. Once again, I have a feeling that I have seen this before. I don't really know where though. And I know that I should probably not step on it, but we don't really have much of a choice now, do we? So I guess we should. And of course, we end up in prison. What the? Oh, not again. <sighs> I have a feeling I've seen this before too, to be honest. <laughs> but will this game surprise us once more with another competent prison? Or are we just able to walk right out the door? Well, oh, Hagar. Well, find out next time.
Yeah, no, that's not my best cliffhanger. I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't really done it in quite some time, so I don't really... Yeah, I'm a bit rusty. I will guess I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> so, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all then. <laughs>